Today is a very special day for me because today I was gifted something that every DIYer wants. And if you don't believe me, just go ask one. This is the Wallabot DIY 2. So we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, so this is just going to be for charging it. And the reason we're going to be charging this one is because this one is actually wireless. This is the first one that actually comes with its own battery. So it's a fairly good looking tool. We can see on the bottom we got our USB-C charging port and we got our power button. This comes with a 4000 mAh battery, so it's going to put it right on par with what you're going to get with an iPhone or an Android phone. So the instructions are pretty simple, but what they basically say is download the Wallabot DIY app and it says we can use Google Play or the iPhone App Store. So this is the only one that Wallabot makes that also works with an iPhone. So what that means is for me I have an Android phone but if I ever want to let somebody borrow this somebody that I care about I can still let them use that even if they're using an iPhone so that's great and we're going to select the Wallabot DIY 2. Turn on the Wallabot that's nice and see we got a little animation and now scan it okay and connect oh, that's cool so it's automatically going to update the firmware on this Okay, so this one is designed for drywall, which is exactly what we're going to be using. And all right, well, it looks like we're ready to start going. So I'm going to hit that. I'll put this on the wall. Start calibration. Now I'm just going to do circles. Okay, and we'll start with image mode and start scan. Oh, wow, okay, I'm right on a stud. So this is one of the cool. Oh, found a wire. So this is one of the cool things about this is I can actually use this as a learning aid. So if I want to make videos or something like that, I can record the phone and I can see exactly what's actually on that wall and I can show exactly what I'm doing. So that is awesome. So we got a wire there, we got it to the left. There is another stud. So yeah, super easy. I mean, we're already done. We're ready to go. So now that I got this, I'm going to do something that I've been putting off for a long time. I'm going to show you something I'm ashamed of. This is my studio and this is the state that it's in. I'm going to take all this stuff I'm going to put it on that wall. So you might be asking, why didn't you just do it already? And the main reason is because I'm actually scared of this wall. So this wall has a lot of complications. To start out with, we got a water heater right here. We also have a loop that's going through the garage on the other side of this wall. There's a potential for a gas line because it's a natural gas heater. We also have power because it's a power vent. We also have a power outlet right here as well as Ethernet and cable. So there's a lot of things going on with this wall. Now I can finally get this actually done. We'll start by calibrating. Okay. Oh, and we are right on a stud. Right there. We got a wire there, or it could also be a pipe because of the uh, purple bar just means it's a wire, a pipe, either way you don't want to drill into that. Okay, well we got our stud there. So we got one here, we got one there. That is going to be a good spot to start hanging our hooks. So you can kind of see I got my green laser line right here, so I'm going to use that to make sure that I get everything perfectly centered. I'm going to put one set of hooks up here, I'm going to put another set of hooks right up here. And this did show me right here that there is a wire in the wall and it looks like it's kind of loose and dangling a little bit. So I do want to make sure that when I'm going into this stud that I'm favoring the left side. Okay, so it's time for the moment of truth. That felt like wood. Yeah, that is definitely wood. Two for two. Cool. That is not going anywhere. Okay. Now let's see how we did here. That is wood. And 
and that is definitely also wood. All right. So there you go. I drilled eight holes. Every single one of them hit wood. Okay, and now to move the mess and put it over here. Cool. So there we go. Got everything up on the wall now. And although there is still plenty of room to go, at the very least, I don't feel like taking a flamethrower to this room anymore. So that's something. And beyond that, I now have access to all these tools. So before where I had to like dig into a pile, now I can just reach and grab it off the wall. So that is awesome. And with all the pipes and wires in this wall, I am so glad that I had this thing to help me out because I don't think I could have done it without it. This is an awesome tool. Now, if we take a look around this room, we can see that hanging things on the walls and ceilings is something that I'm fairly used to. In fact, I've been doing this for quite some time. But this wall is always something I've been concerned about. And the main reason is because of this shutoff right here. So this is the shutoff for our main water supply. So I've got water going up here and I've got water going up here and here. So hanging all of this stuff, that's not a problem. But trying to put something in here is something I've always been concerned about. And I want to put my helmet hanger right here just to see what we got right here. These are a couple of things I definitely don't want to hit. Now, they're going to be pretty far away, but I also don't really know what they're doing inside this wall right here. Okay, so my stud is... I'm actually a little bit surprised as to how accurate this thing is, just because it's, it's telling me within millimeters where the center of that stud is. Okay, now let's see if I can see the water line. Yep, there's a water line. There's a stud. It's interesting. So this one water line did it too far back. Oh, no, it's because it branches off. So that's interesting. So it actually goes up and across and goes straight up. So there isn't even two water lines right here. I actually didn't know that. Okay, well, I'm learning all kinds of stuff today. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to go a little low because I want this thing to line up. And... Okay, that's wood. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. So I am very happy with that. 